Dear Heavenly oh, Father, we yes, thank we you is. for your we grace are. and your mercy and your love. We thank you for how you kept us all day long. For this is the day yes. that you have made. Yes. We will yes. rejoice and continue to be glad in it. We just yes. ask for your anointing because we know the anointing is what destroys the yokes and removes yes. every burden. We just know that it is not by our power nor by our might, but by your raw. Yes. Say Elohim. And we thank you right now for your presence, thank for you. your anointing. You say when praises go up, blessings come down. And yes, it does. We are praising you because you say let everything that have breath praise you, Elohim. And we are praising you and we're worshiping yes. you. You say they that worship you must do it in spirit and in and truth. In and truth. we thank you right now for your word being alive on the inside of us, bringing forth like the rivers of living water. Yes. We thank you right now for how you just continue to make ways where there seem to be no way. And we just ask that you will anoint. Mm. Brother Ed, in the word that you are giving yes. him on the day that it will come out of his mouth and that it will fall on good ground, not the ears of the listeners. Help yes. them to be able to receive what it is that you have set for your set apart ones, that it will fall on good ground and bring up the fruit that you was intended for it to be. Yes. We thank you for it right now. We come against every and all satanic forces, every assignment, every spirit of witchcraft, yes. voodoo, everything, black magic, anything mm. that try to come up and exalt mm. itself against the knowledge of you. We destroy it now. Every yes. um, curse of every spirit spirit of division, every spirit of mumbling, grumbling, and complaining, we bind it now. So you say, whatever now. we bind down here on earth, you are bind in heaven. And whatever we loose down here on earth, you loose in heaven. So we loose your love, your joy, yes. your peace. Yes. We loose yes. unity. We thank you right now right for now. you being y'all right all by now. yourself. Hallelujah. That you are beginning, that you are in, and we thank you that thank you are a shepherd, you. that we shall not want shall for anything. Want. And we give you all the praise, all the honor, and the glory belongs to you. Amen. And amen. amen. We bring you Shalom from down here in Pierce, Georgia. We was very motivated to do and bring forth this word. On today, we're going to try to keep it short, and we ain't going to go along with all these other things that we normally do because this is very important on today. Truly, we at our people house that have showed us great hospitality have allowed us to come here and they extended their home and we like to give thanks to them. But nevertheless, whenever you have a word from y'all, you have to birth this word. You can't continue to allow the word to permeate in you. You have to give it birth. So this thing has been stewing in me for about two weeks now. This word going to deal with what, as we as people, been going through. You all know that we who was down through the slave trade, our fathers and all, we understood that Deuteronomy 28 talks about us as the chosen people. And as we being the chosen people who have never ever ever even understood what our roots was y'all begin to explain and expound to us about who he is and what we is then he brought forth something that made so much sense he talked to me about which is our topic on today. He talked to me about an ingrained division. Ingrained division. Now, ingrained, as we read, if you look it up in your Webster Dictionary or your college edition or you go online, just stay away from Wikipedia, because Wikipedia put anything on. But anyway, ingrained means deep, rooted, deep seated, well established, deeply ingrained, a Catholic conviction. That part I want you to really hold on to a Catholic conviction or work into. A graph or the fiber, meaning that to be ingrained, it was the most woven intensity to put in 
Now, when we say that it was put in, meaning that you had no power in it. You even don't know that it was there. That was ingrained meaning, meaning that it is a part of whatever was put there. You didn't have an understanding that what they put it in. You didn't have no power. All you did was understood what's what. Now, we all know what the vision is. The vision means to divide. The vision means to whatever number there is, you take away from that number. Now, to have an ingrained division, meaning that somebody implanted or somebody enrooted division in you that you had no power over, that what ingrained division means. That this was planted in you, and now that it was planted in you, you wonder and you ask yourself, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Why is I'm doing this or why is I'm doing that? Because it was put in you, not by your power, not by your might, not by your judgment. <coughs> ask yourself this question. Who am I? I want you to really, everybody, I, 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 I want you to just concentrate on this. Who am I? Ask yourself truly, because see, you is not only what you think you are. You part of aunts, uncles. You part of grandparents. You part of parents. You part of friends. You part of enemies. Everything that was placed in your environment, this is what you part of. And the funny thing that you don't realize, not only is you part of all that, but you're part of stuff that happened that you wasn't a part of. But because it happened to your forefathers, now it was passed down to you. Generational. It's generational. Say it again, darling. Generational. Generational. Now, I'm going to focus on division for a few. Division is an ugly tool that is used to either bring you down or take it away from you. That's why they call it division. Division is something that the adversary have used so profoundly that he took a third of heaven down with him. Now, I want you to click that and understand that. He took a third with him. Now, that shows you how powerful the division is. And I see that you can see that, hey, we got thunder in the background. Lightning in the background, the clouds is happening. See, you, what you're seeing behind me is what is happening in our lives right now. So much division, so much stuff that separates, that destroys, that takes away. And when it ingrained in you, it works when you don't even realize it works. A lot of families, whenever one say up, the other one will say down. Not because they disagree, but because that ingrained division makes them be opposite. They come with this, this stuff that opposite attracts. Opposite don't attract. And the reason why I say opposite don't attract, because there are some times that I could be in the east and you could be in the west. And we never, ever, ever come in the mindset, never get along because why? We just don't agree. Plain and simple. But I tell you what does attract. And this is what people don't realize. When you got that set apart spirit, you have no choice but to come together. Because it's only going to speak one thing. Whatever the Father tells it to speak, that what everybody around will be doing and understanding and a part of. But that ingrained division, which a lot of us don't realize came from our masters. It came from the people that have brought us into captivity. And a lot of y'all saying, I ain't never been into captivity. No, you didn't. But this America that you see, land of the free, home of the brave, as you say, was not your home. You have taken on the European ways so much that our father don't even know who you is anymore. 
You have taken away, watch this. <clears throat> if you read Deuteronomy 28, you knew good and well that <clears throat> our heritage was stolen. The Jews that is over there in Israel right now ain't even Jews. They's from the Baltics. They from Russia. They from Yugoslavia. They from them parts of the region that all they did was adopted the Judaism, and now because they're not a part and say, well, this part was vacant. We gonna take it and we gonna be the Jews. You always talking about you helping Jerusalem. You helping the 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 and, and you say, oh, these are the Jews. No, you're helping the people who put us in captivity. We are the original Jews. And I know you looking, you saying, what you mean? Watch this. I feel, I'm going to bring you into some, some, some understanding. I want, I want you to, to hear me. A lot of time, if you haven't realized that a third of the angels lost their place, in heaven from division because of a lie. Division is always where something is placed, something is done. I'm going I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you where division almost cost a life of a child. And the funny thing about it is, Donnie, if you will, give me First Kings, the third chapter, 16 down through the 28th verse. I'm going to show you how dangerous the vision could be now. First Kings 13, 16. First King 3. First King 3. Mm -hmm. 16 down through 28. 16 to 28. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The two women, huh? whores. Mm -hmm. came to the sovereign and stood before him. Yes. And one woman said, Oh, my master, mm -hmm. this woman and I dwell in the same house. Yes. And I gave birth while she was in the house. Uh-huh. And it came to be the third day. Uh-huh. I had given birth. Yes. That this woman also gave birth. Yes. And we were together. There was no one else with us in the house. Uh-huh. Only the two of us in the house. Yes. Then this woman's son died in the night. He died. Because she lay on him. Because she laid on him. And she rose up in the middle of the night. Come on. And took my son and from my side. took her son from the side. While your female servant slept. While my female servant slept. And laid him in her bosom. Come and on. And laid her dead son in my bosom. Uh-huh. And I rose in the morning to nurse my son. Come on. And saw he was dead. Saw he was dead. But I looked at him closely in the morning and saw he was not my son. Right. Whom I had bore. Right. And the other woman said, no. Uh-huh. But the living one is my son. And the living the one is my one son. Is your son. The dead one is your son. Come on. And the first woman said, no. No. For the dead one is your son. Right. And the living one is my son. Right. And they spake before the sovereign. And the sovereign said, the one says, this is my son who lives, and your son is the dead one. Come on. While the other say, no, for your son is the dead one, and my son is the living one. Yes, yes. And the sovereign said, bring me a sword. Mm, mm, so mm, they mm. brought a sword before the sovereign. And the sovereign said, divide the living child in two. And Come on. And give half to one. Come on. And half to the other. Come on. And the woman whose son was living spoke to the sovereign, mm. for she was overcome with compassion, compassion. for her son. And she said, oh, my master, give her the living child. Give her the child. And by no means kill him. No means. But the other one said, let him be neither mine nor yours, <coughs> the, but divide. Divide him, cut him in two. And the sovereign answered and said, give the first woman the living child, and by no means kill him. She is his mother. And all Israel heard of the right ruling which the sovereign had rendered, and they feared the sovereign. For they saw that the wisdom of Elohim was in him to do right ruling. Now you hear that. Division almost cost this child his life. Not because this child had anything to do with it. Ingrained division. Not because this child was participating. But because somebody who knew that they have killed their baby... Decided, I'm going to take this other child and give her my child. And whenever the sovereign heard it, 
His mindset was saying, split the baby in half. Give one that one half, one to the other. Mm -hmm. That'll solve the problem. Now it's no more division. Mm -hmm. But understand this. Even Yahuwah HaMashiach spoke and said that a house divided against itself cannot stand. Even he said that Satan can't be against Satan. You, who is of the spirit of Yah, you can't be divided. Everybody going to hear and do the same thing. See, this is what's wrong with the Christian community right now. Everybody is divided. Everybody is within their own denomination, their own chapter, their own non-denominational church, their own Pentecostal movement or charismatic movement. Everybody in their cult, everybody is just divided. But Yehoshua HaMashiach spoke and said that, Nevertheless, I must go away. For if I go, then the Father, who I have came in mind in his name, will send the comforter. My question is this. Think about it now. If Yahushua never left, and then the comforter came, then it would have been division. Because why? Some would do just like they said. I serve Paul. I serve Apollos. I serve Mark, John. I am John the Baptist's disciple. Being set apart does not bring that about. Being set apart bring unity, bring love, bring togetherness. See, a lot of times, and I know y'all saying, what's going on? See, as it get dark, you see behind me, and see, you know, I'm going to adjust that so you can see. As the night come in, I want you to notice on this video, it's a work while it's day, but when the night cometh, no man can work. Is your night coming? Is darkness creeping up on you? I'm doing this for a reason. I've done this, and I mean, my mind was to do it in the daytime. But y'all had his time planned. Showing you how the vision will do you, how the vision will bring you, how the vision will turn you, how the vision will make you, how the vision will shape you. See, the vision is an ugly tool that makes people look at one another with disgust, not because that person did anything wrong to them, but because they is divided, because why? It is more easier to stand against something, then to humble yourself and be subjective and realize that, hey, I don't have to come up with the ideal to go along with it. Everybody is bucking to be head shot. Everybody is bucking to be leaders. Everybody is bucking to be the ones that stand and, 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 and give what you're supposed to do. And what I'm going to tell you, this is what brings on the vision. This is what brings on the vision. On today, I got scriptures, but Yah is just steady talking to me. And as he's talking to me, I mean, you know, it's hard to get that back to the script. It's really hard, but um, we're going to get back to it. We're going to go all the way from the Tower of Babel, all the way from sitting up there looking from Genesis. The vision just took. Matter of fact, the vision <coughs> made each one throw each other under the bus. Adam threw Eve up under the bus through the vision. Eve threw the serpent up under the bus. And I mean, it went so on and so on. But I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you that a lot of times to be divided may cause so much things. Okay. A lot of times the Greeks, and I, and I want you to remember this. The Greeks. Nobody in this kingdom, in the Hebrew language, all the Hebrews spoke Aramaic. 
It wasn't Greek. So now answer me something, if y'all will. How come the New Testament was written in Greek? Hmm? Think about it. How come the Old Testament is written in Hebrew? But the New Testament is written in Greek. <laughs> this gonna this gonna throw you about how division came in. The Old Testament, which you knew, was called the Old Covenant. Whenever the scholars began to decipher and bring this stuff in, they brought in division. They took covenant, which came with power. They took covenant, which came with you have to be able to be a part of. You have to pledge your allegiance to. You had to do your part. They took that out. They took out all the stipulations that y'all said, if you do, then this is what I would do. If you be, this is what I'll be. They took all that out and turned it. Into just where somebody is telling a story. That what a testament is. And not only did they do that. Watch this. Do what you was taught about the dark ages. When you said. You know they taught us. Uh, from between the Old Testament and New Testament. About 400 years. And there was no vision. No, no, no word was spoken. That was a lie. That was a lie. The word was spoken. Word was spoken profoundly. But nobody between Old Covenant and New Covenant was given power to speak. Because why? Watch this. There had to be a forerunner. Ooh, come on here and think about it. It had to be a forerunner. Somebody who was going to introduce you to who was going to be the door for you. Oh, come on. Huh? Somebody had to be able to take the place and walk and talk and be there to be the one who, oh, come on here. I'm, I, 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 I got to get away from the script because inspiration done kicked in. Somebody going to have to be there to, 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 to show and tell you about one who was going to come behind him, who you wasn't able to loosen the, the latches on his shoes. You had to have a forerunner to prepare you. Or there would have been division because why? Nobody would have understood who and what it was. That's why whenever you begin to realize it tells you that there was a man. Mm, 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 mm. Come on. Come on, girl. There was a man by the name of Zach, Zacharias. He had a wife by the name of Elizabeth. Oh. The angel came and he spoke to Zacharias told Zacharias, you're going to have a son. But because he knew Zacharias talked so much, he shut Zacharias' mouth up. Y'all ain't hear me on this. Huh? Because he knew good and well that it wasn't time to bring forth this door that was going to be revealed that was going to help you and I get back to where we're supposed to be. Y'all ain't understanding this now. See, this was the reason why the door came. The door came that he may be able not only, oh glory, not only to open up and give her access to community, but take back which was stolen from you. Not because that you had it from the beginning, but because the ones that was before you, they sold out because why? The dominion was given to them. But because of disobedience, mm -hmm. just because you will not obey, Father told Adam, you can eat of any tree in this garden, but don't eat of that tree. The vision comes sliding up to Eve. You ain't hearing me now. Told Eve, if you eat it, you'll be just like them. You'll be just like a God. Now, my question is this. Think about this. Why would I have to be just like a God when I already got one. Think about it. This is where the vision come in. This is where we begin to start saying we are better. We got the momentum. Why would you want something when you already got something? 
Why would you? Watch it. Why would you want to be like something when you ain't able to bear the stuff that it goes through? What you mean? Okay. The Muslims teach that we are gods, as they say, with the little g, whatever that crap means. But okay. Are you able to stop your years from from going? Are you able to bring your life in and say, okay, whenever I am maternally sick <clears throat> and the deaf angel is standing at my bedroom door, since I am a God, I've never seen them die before. Kill a spirit. Show me how. Come on. Y'all bring with all this nonsense that you've been taught, all this crap that you've been taught, that is not true. None of it don't even fit with the book that is being talked with. Study it and show yourself approved. A workman needed not to be ashamed, but rightly dividing this word of truth. If you do that, if you do that, that means you're going to have to get out that one book to study. You got to know what history is, what was going on in that time, what was happening, who was the king, who who was all the ruler over the kingdom. See, I'm going to show you why the New Testament was written in Greek. And this is going to tear you up. Remember, I told you, in grain division, when we was doing the word in grain, what words did I told you to hold on to? Catholic control. Back it up. Catholic conversion. Why was it written in Greek? Because that was the language of the Roman kingdom. See, you see, you you just don't know how bad you've been hoodwinked. When you start going with the King James Version. You just don't know how bad. The New Testament. Originally was written in Hebrew and Aramaic. But guess what? Rome destroyed every copy. And gave you the Catholic Version. And you get mad at me whenever I tell you that King James brings so much controversy, so much division. You get mad at me whenever I say that that ain't the true word. Well, my question is this. You don't like the Catholic, but you're dealing in their scriptures. Everything that based in your understanding is strong Catholic. The only thing you don't do is go sit in a confession booth. But you still set the man up as a god because you and your pastors. Pastor tell you when you can go home, when you can get up, when you can go out of town, when you can't go out of town. He tell you everything. He tell you who can come in your house, who can't come in your house. He tell you even what your husband can put in the refrigerator, what he can't put in the refrigerator. I know y'all don't like it, but it's true. See, I'm trying to show you where you have taken an ingrained division and roll with it. Yeah, let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. let me, let me get some scriptures. I don't, I don't want you to just think that I'm just rolling this stuff off to you. I want, I want you to, to look at this. See, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how bad this thing is. Y'all know the word baptism or being baptized, right? This word baptized in the English language mean what? To be immersed, right? To be immersed. But watch this. The scholars created baptized from the word baptismal, meaning to dip or sink. And because they didn't want no conflict with the ones of Christianity who approached baptism 
and did not involve dipping. They translated the word and was common practice. Watch this. Ask yourself this question. If you, who is a, and I'm, I'm going to say this, the man in the Black Panther movie couldn't have said it no more better. Whenever he stood up there and looked in the case and he asked the lady, what about this mask? And she was telling him about it. And he told her, don't worry, I'm going to take it off your hand. And she said, none of this stuff was in here for sale. And he said, didn't your ancestors stole everything that you got here? What you mean, bro? Bro, Martin, watch this. Everything that you got in your spiritual Christian walk, as you said, was stolen. What you mean? You remember Dragnet used to say that uh, <laughs> the names have been changed <laughs> to, to protect the innocent? Well, trust me, these names has been changed. Every name that you sit up in there, question, I mean, ask yourself. Now, now, now I'm going to point out some division for you. But before I do that, come with me to Matthew 16. No, 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 no. First, first go to Acts 19, 25. Acts 19 and 25. Yeah. Who, having called them together. Listen now. With the workers of similar trade. Who has been calling them together with the workers of similar trade. Said. Said. Men. Men. You know that our wealth is from this business. You know our wealth is from this business. And you see in here. That not only at Ephesus, uh -huh. but throughout almost all Asia, uh -huh. this Saul has persuaded and turned away a large number, saying... Stop, stop, stop right there. Now, listen, now, listen, now. Uh, listen. These men had a meeting. And they said, now you know, that we is of this business <laughs> from Ephesus... <laughs> Down through the region, this man, okay, Paul, if you want to put it in the English word, but Saul, have turned so many people away. How he turned them? Come on, read. Saying that they are not mighty ones which are made with hands. They are not mighty ones made with hands. And not only is this trade of ours mm -hmm. in danger, of coming to rejection. Come on. But also that the temple of the great female mighty one, uh. Arthelius, whom all Asia and the world worship, mm -hmm. shall be regarded as worthless and her greatness uh -huh. diminished. And having heard these, they were filled with rage and Man. cried out, mm. saying, Great is Armas mm. of the Ephesians. Mm. And the entire city was filled with confusion. Confusion. And they rushed with one mind into the theater. See? Having siege Gaos and Archers, Macedonians, uh -huh. Macedonians, Saul come on, follow travelers, mm -hmm. and Saul intended to go in among the mob. He went. The taught ones mm -hmm. did not allow him. The taught ones did not allow him. And some of the officials of Asia, being his friends, uh -huh. sent to him begging him not to risk himself into Don't the come. theater. Don't come into the theater. Then others indeed shouted this and others that. For the assembly was confused, and most of them did not know why they had come together. Okay, now, now, now stop there. I'm going to show you where you've been completely, completely bamboozled. But I'm going to do it in the backward sense that you'll be able to understand. The word assembly in your King James Bible should read church. The word Saul should read Paul. And the people was arguing because they were saying that Paul was stopping their cash flow, mm -hmm. taking the power from the, 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 the idols that they was making 
And because they can't use these idle people no more, that they were going to lose money. And I told you I'm going to take you backwards. First thing first, assembly. Assembly is what the set-apart ones had, meaning that they assembled themselves together. Church means circle. Oh, what? What you say? They replaced the word assembly or ecclesia. And here I'm gonna spell it for you. It's E K K L E S I A. Ecclesia. Or Eda. Remember whenever you heard the song Send My Israel, Send My Israel. Yahuwah, Eda. That's what they're talking about, the assembly. They changed that. And they put in the word church. And the funny thing about it, church does not translate or transliterate from either one of them words. But they put it in there for one reason and one reason only. <coughs> because <laughs> Rome was what? The Catholic what? Church. Rome was a Catholic church. So since it was a Catholic church, and the Romans believed in church and not assembly, King James Wrote in church. Number two. On his conversion, um, whenever he was on the road to Damascus, your book said that his name would change from Saul to Paul, right? Wrong. The name never was changed. He still was Saul. King James changed it to Paul to appease the Roman Catholic people. Because why? Paul was a Roman Catholic word. Wow. Come on. Number three. Come on here. Don't worry because you're going to get you going get your finger on Matthew 16. I want you to hold on to that. Get Matthew 16. You got it? Uh, if I believe it started at the 18th verse, if I'm not mistaken, I want you to hold on to it. Yes, Matthew 16 and 18. Hold on to it. Watch this, watch this. Here is the big clicker. The men was fussing at Ephesus saying that they were going to take away <laughs> all the money that they was making. What name is the number one selling name? In the world. Say it again. King the King James Bible. Number one seller. Now my question is this. What idol. Was created. In the King James. That the whole world. Falls up under. What idol. That makes so much money. I heard people say, I ain't never heard nobody got killed by the name of Yahushua, Hamasiah. You wanna know why you ain't never heard nobody got killed by that name? Because you don't even know that name. I ain't never heard nobody got killed in the name of Yahuwah. You wanna know why? You don't even know that name. Now, we is the forerunners. We is the John the Baptist of this era. I brought him up for a plain reason. He was the forerunner to tell you about Yahushua Hamasiah was coming. 
His ministry was six months before. Come on here. Understand. Elizabeth was six months whenever Mary came to her and the babies leaped in the womb. Huh? Think about it. What was the name of the baby in Mary's womb? Jesus? Is that what you say? Everybody throw your hand up for Jesus. Okay. Well, all you Jesus speakers, I got a question for you. Now, I'm just going to play you close because I know you ain't got no answer for it. Listen to me now. I'm pulling my head up because I want you to see my face when I ask you this. How was his name Jesus when he was in Mary Belly when the letter J not nowhere in the Greek alphabet or the Hebrew or the Aramaic language. You tell me. Greek was the language that the Romans spoke. All they had was eyes. Hebrew, alpha. That's what they spoke. Their letters didn't even have a J. So, <coughs> how was his name Jesus? You help me out now. Translators, all through the dark ages, all through time, medieval time, never spoke Jesus. He didn't came about all the way until, if I'm not mistaken, um, it said 1557, the letter J was invented, and the same man who invented the letter J came up the word with Jehovah. And that was well after the death of every prophet, every disciple, everything. So you tell me. How his name was Jesus. That's number one selling product. Say it again. Come on. That was the angel said. Call him Emmanuel. So they say that the angel was lying. Angel came down and said, you need to call him Emmanuel for he shall save his people from their sins. And the funny thing about it, in the Greek language, Emmanuel was spelt with an I, not an E. So I know that part was true. Come on, this, this division that is on you is more deeper because it was ingrained in you and you don't even realize it. You fighting against the same thing that's trying to save you. You fighting against the same one that you pray to. Come on, get, come in with Matthew. Matthew 16. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 because cause, 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 cause I'm going to wrap this thing up in a few quick seconds. And come I on. also say to you. And I also say to you. That you are careful. You are careful, meaning you are Peter. And on this rock. And on this rock. I shall build my assembly. No, 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 no. You can't build your assembly upon this rock. Because why? This rock, the church supposed to be established on it. That's what your, that what your King James Version say. Because why? Who got the most power? The Catholic Church. What division? See, the Catholic Church is so smart. It allows you to go and branch off and get all your division, all your apostolics, all your Pentecostals, all your Presbyterians, all your Baptists, all your Methodists. It just lets you just say, boom, come on. Just create you another movement. But use my literature. They smart. Create you another movement. You know what? Hey, you know, you ain't got to have no denomination. Be non-denominational. But use my literature. 
Because why? Every Sunday, Tuesday night, Friday night, your joyous night, you is worshiping the sun god. Ra. Not Yah, but Ra. And who is Ra? What figure is Ra? Listen to me. What figure is Ra? A European looking accent person. That got European features. They even went back and took the description of an Egyptian and made it European. And you brought it. Hook, line, sinker. I want you to stop and look at every commercial, every country. Look what represent that country. It ain't us dark-skinned people. Man, we don't even don't represent Africa hardly no more. Even though we ain't from Africa, we don't represent that. And everything over there, about as dark as this, this scenery behind me. They have stolen your identity. Watch this. I, I, I'm coming in because I told you I'm going to make these, these, these shorter. They dress like you. They walk like you. They talk like you. Their mannerism is like you. But they hate you. Hmm? Answer me this question. Now watch this. In every major city, Go out to the suburbs. You ain't got all these liquor stores. You ain't got all these little bodega shops. You ain't got all these Chinese weed people. Because you wonder why? The Europeans don't buy that. Only we do. Huh? Only we do. Now, you will have a nail salon over there. Where the Chinese people would do your nails, clean your little feet. Hmm? Huh? Feet? What'd you say? Feet? My wife said feet. Feet. <coughs> they got them. But they ain't got no weave shop. They ain't got where they sell a lot of bling bling that don't mean nothing. Hmm? Come on. Think about it. Why is not there any Chinese restaurants? Over there in that neighborhood. They don't. Not only that, watch this. Down here when we was in Greenville, we 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 in Pearson, Georgia right now, but when we was in Greenville, so long to y'all anyway, everybody out there. They were so intent to get every dollar they can get. Yes. They were so intent to get every dollar from the people that they broke their beer prices down to even the man standing on the corner begging for a dollar, they can get his dollar. Because you can get three 16-ounce beers for a dollar. <laughs> now you tell me. If they ain't trying to rob everything from our civilization, you can get three 20 ounce beers for one dollar. I'm going to let her read the scripture and then, and then we're going to close on up. Yeah. Come on. I shall build my assembly and the gates of shore shall mm -hmm. not overcome it. Mm -hmm. And I shall give you the keys of the reign of I'm the heaven. Give you the keys. And whatever you bind on earth, whatever you bind here on earth, shall be heaven being bound in the heavens. Now, now listen at what she just read. I want her to read it again so you can catch it. And I shall give you the keys of the reign of the heavens. Mm -hmm. And whatever you bind on earth, this is now in present time. Whatever you say, say like right now. Whatever I say now, on earth, come on, shall be heaven being bound in the heavens. Have already or shall be having been, meaning they have already been bound before I bound it. 
And whatever you loosen on earth, whatever you loosen on earth, shall be having been loosed in the heavens. Meaning that it already been loosed before I even ask for it to be loosed. How is that? There is no division between the spirit. The spirit is one. Always one connection. We have to realize that this ingrained division must be rooted out of us. Got to be taken out of us. You can't sit here and expect that there's going to be different parts in heaven. Parts for the whites, parts for the black, parts for the Indian, parts for the Hispanic. It ain't going to be that. You either a Jew or a Gentile. You pick which one you want to be. But both must come through the door. Jew, Gentile, Greek, whatever you want to call yourself. Born, free, happy, sad, nappy, glad, it doesn't matter. All you got to come through one door. Any other way, you're a thief and a robber. And I'm breaking this to you. That door is not what's being peddled today. Jesus is the number one selling name. A lot of y'all preachers know that his covenant name is Yahuwah and Yahushua HaMessiah. But because them name is not making you no money, you won't use them. you stick with the name of Jesus. Watch this. Watch this. Before I go with the woe to the pastor, honey, watch this. I want you to listen to me. If you never heard or you say, I can't see or I don't see, your sins could be forgiven. But when you say, I see and I know, your sin remains. This is why the scripture tells you many are going to come to me saying, Didn't I cast out many devils in your name? Didn't I see many wonders works in your name? See, don't get me wrong. That name, Jesus, he grants you your wishes. Because of the grace that he has on you. Giving you an opportunity to get it right. And many of you think that you already got it right. When you don't have it right. What you say, woe unto them? Pastors. Woe unto them pastors. Who lead my sheep astray. Woe unto you who know what the covenant name is. And don't give the people opportunity to use it. Why would you knock me? Watch this. If your government name is Ralph, but your nickname that everybody gave you was Freddy, I call you Ralph. Why would you get mad at me? Because each week you sign Ralph on your paycheck. When you go to the bank, you sign Ralph. When you go to do business transactions, you sign RAF. When you go to get your car, you sign it RAF. On your insurance policy, where if you kick the bucket, it's RAF. Who does the street call you Freddy? Oh, I want to be known by Freddy. Well, go get your name changed. But the funny thing about it, his name don't change. Same, say it again. Same, Same yesterday, today, today or forevermore. He don't change. Same. So if he don't change and his name don't change, who giving you the power to change his name? I want you to think about this because I'm finna close. Say it again. He's the beginning and the end. He's everlasting. Everlasting. Ever existing. See? Watch this. This finna really make you mad. You finna, or you finna look at me. Jesus and Satan is called the morning star. 
what? How this can be? You think about it. You think about it. In your King James Version, Jesus and Satan is called the morning star. And the name Lucifer? Oh, this didn't really tell you. Was placed in there. His name never was Lucifer. Division is so rampant. Especially when it's ingrained. It's already ingrained in you to hate anything that don't come with the name Jesus. Why? <laughs> the taught ones will know. And that's who it's going out to, the set apart ones. The ones that was already predestined. Come on, come on here. What? Because he said his sheep. His sheep know his voice. And a stranger they will not follow. Hey. Why do you think we walked away? Because mm, mm, mm. why? We ain't following no stranger. Mm, mm. We know his voice. When the call of Yahuwah went out, his sheep heard it. And they came from all walks of life, all parts of this thing what you call religion. Every of them stepped out of that and adhered to the name Yahuwah. I'm telling you, a lot of y'all think I'm crazy, but I've been pastoring under the name of Jesus. I got saved, as you would say, under the name of Jesus. I was in fear with that Holy Spirit, as you say, under the name of Jesus. But I'm finna give you a witness. When my brother Jody dropped me in that water, yeah. in the name of Yahushua Hamasiah, when I came up, there was a difference. Huh? When the set apart one got the real name right, this week many miracles that you wouldn't even believe took place. Sick came back, huh? Interceding for others, yeah. spoke word happened, unspoken word. Happened. I know you're saying, what unspoken word are you talking about? I'm going to give this quick instance. The Father spoke to one of the participants in our prayer line and told her he wanted everybody to close their eyes, bow down, see him sitting on the throne. Bow down. She didn't say nothing to anybody. But the participants on the prayer line begin to bow down and see him sitting on the throne. And when they told her, she was, you, you watched it, she was a confirmation to know that the Spirit speaking expressly to everybody at the same level to do the same thing. It doesn't matter. But in that Holy Ghost stuff, I've seen them fall out and bust their head. Fall off the stage, they doing all this jumping and hollering. Watch this. Me, myself, I ran into a pine tree running out of church. <laughs> Smack face in the pine tree. I was in the Holy Ghost, as I say. The raw is more intelligent than that. You can watch the raw come in. And everybody speaks in a heavenly tongue. That's another subject there. <clears throat> and I'm going to teach you on that subject because why? I was just taught through the ones about heavenly tongues. Because I did just, I, I hold on to the tradition of what Paul was saying. He'd rather for you to 
prophesies in a few words and speak a lot of words in tongues because it edifies the church none. But guess what? Speaking in tongues edify the person who is speaking it. It's building them up. It got nothing to do with the church. Got a few minutes, so I'm going to pray and we're going to close. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you. For all that you've done. Yes, you do. We thank you. We thank you. For your love and your understanding. Yes. Shalom go out to the people. Cover and keep them. Yes. All these blessings ask through the name of Yahushua. I'm going to say amen and amen. Amen. All right, thank you.